welcome to Hope Channel Baraton, dear viewer. Once again to another lesson presentation for this week, lesson two, on the quarter's lesson, The Great Controversy. And uh, with me here, I have my sister, Oster Naomi. Welcome and greet us. Hello, viewer. I hope you have a good lesson with us today. Thank you so much, uh, Oster Naomi. Um, allow us to pray so that we get to discuss the lesson for this week. My sister, pray with us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for another chance that you've granted unto us so that we may come and feed from your word. May your presence abide with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Hope you've had a good week up to this time when we are preparing for the Sabbath and uh, for this week's lesson. And uh, I want to call upon your attention that you be with us from the start till the end so that we can get the concept on what the lesson is talking about. This week's lesson is uh, a question which is um, the central issue whether you choose love or selfishness. And throughout the lesson discussion, we'll be able to get the right answer to this uh, question. And uh, the key text is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, where it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is a statement of hope to us. You note that we are in a great controversy where things don't work the way we expect. And yet, being a Christian, we expect everything to run in a smooth way. We expect God to be concerned in our difficult moment. But sometimes we get disappointed, we serve God, and uh, we tend to suffer much. Are we to give up? Are we to, you know, to abandon uh, things that God has laid uh, for us? No. We need to stay strong. We need to, you know, to get motivated because we are nearing the end. The great controversy is within us. What are are we supposed to respond to that? That is why the question for this week is either are you cherishing love or are you cherishing selfishness? Throughout this week's lesson, we'll be able to dip deeper and be able to understand the concept about the central issue of what as we as Christians we need to embrace. Friends, it is Christ himself who is part of the heavenly uh, administration. In fact, it is God whom after us as humanity fell into sin. He came down and uh, he faced that suffering on our behalf so that us as humanity we may be saved. But what is so painful, it is us, even Christ coming to die for us. The response we are giving back is not encouraging. Christ came for us and for the sake of us, not to be punished, but him being punished on our behalf. But whatever we are doing, it is not even encouraging at all because we are even taking part in making Christ to suffer more. And that is why he is broken hearted. He is humiliating a lot for the choices we as Christians we are making. It is humanity that Christ came to die for us. He took our form, form of humanity just to share with us and be able to stand on our behalf 
the sufferings that we were supposed to face, he took it on our behalf. But um, we are not doing it. That is why he is broken hearted. The question you might be asking yourself is the Savior. He is God. Why is he broken hearted? Sister Naomi, why is this so? Thank you so much, Brother Tony. Yes. See, I'm surprised mm -hmm. and the way you've said mm -hmm. He's the one who saved us mm -hmm. and he's the one who who died for us. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, mm -hmm. the lesson writer puts him mm -hmm. as a broken-hearted savior. Yes. As I read the lesson and as I study about this title that it has been given unto us, mm -hmm. when you read um, John chapter 1, verse 11, mm -hmm. it says, He came to his own mm -hmm. and his own did not receive him. Mm -hmm. It's surprising that we are reading the, the, the lesson, The Great Controversy. Mm -hmm. And as you read a book, the book, The Great Controversy mm -hmm. by Ellen G. White, mm -hmm. she starts with the destruction of Jerusalem. Okay. I mean, look at that time mm -hmm. when Christ was weeping mm -hmm. over Jerusalem. These were people who knew mm -hmm. about what God really want, that wanted them to do. Mm -hmm. These are people who knew what God mm -hmm. had set aside for them. But still, mm -hmm. I see something given freely to us by God, mm -hmm. a power of choice. Yes. You see, it is in our choices whereby mm -hmm. we had the Savior. Yes. It is in our choices whereby mm -hmm. the Savior is being so moved on how we are going to handle things. Mm -hmm. Because Christ mm -hmm. is broken. Mm -hmm. Christ is much hurt when we mm -hmm. ourselves decide not to heed to his voice. Mm -hmm. You see... When we talk about this conflict, cosmic conflict, which is happening between us and Saturn, yes. you know, Saturn comes even mm -hmm. to a point where he invades even our thoughts in the choices that we make. Mm -hmm. And so when we see Christ really seeing this, mm -hmm. you see, Jerusalem being distracted didn't show that God is a bad God, yes. that God is not a good God, mm -hmm. but it was out of the choices of these people. Mm -hmm that this thing came out mm -hmm. and therefore when it is being given like that mm -hmm. christ is broken because of the way we are so much pained mm -hmm. with the choices which we made mm -hmm. we are distracted mm -hmm. because of what we make mm -hmm. as christian mm -hmm. and i mean that brings an aspect whereby our savior is so moved mm -hmm. because of the what we mm -hmm. we do mm -hmm. and what we bring mm -hmm. on our tables so you are truly you are trying to say mm -hmm. that um Christ becomes broken hearted mm -hmm. based on the choices we make. Exactly. And in fact, Christ will not be broken hearted if we make the, 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 the correct choices. Mm -hmm. Christ only becomes broken hearted because he has given us what is expected exactly. and he expects the right thing from what he has given us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the kingdom of light mm. that God has raised mm -hmm. and uh, is moved that all of us be part and parcel of that. But if we cherish selfishness and we make it become a central issue on our side, then we are messy. We will not be people who are going to, you know, to merit his promise. Christian are facing a lot of challenges. And more so in the current situation, people are, are suffering from the financial crisis mm -hmm. all over. The economy is not stable. Mm -hmm. Sickness are all over. You know, people are imprisoned for even uh, mistakes they never did. 
Mm-hmm. But all these are happening because of Satan. Mm-hmm. But God is uh, assuring us. In fact, there are those people who are suffering the mistakes they never did. Yeah. And for the sake of God's sake, they are, uh, they are suffering this. Mm-hmm. But God is telling us, he's giving us a message of hope from now from the, 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 the first key text that we are given. It says, fear not. You know, despite of all this happening, God is saying that the providence of Christian is preserved. In other terms, despite the fact that we are going through these painful moments, despite the fact that we are going through these um, challenging moments that Satan is, uh, has laid for us, to, you know, intending us to move away from God's precepts. God is saying that let us not be moved. Let us have hope. Let us not fear of these challenges we are facing in life currently. God still preserves his people. You know, sometimes we can get into situations and feel like uh, this is waste, uh, this is a waste of time. You know, serving God becomes a waste of time when you feel like you've, you, you, you've uh, incurred a lot of challenges to an extent where you feel there is no solution thereafter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you've, you, you, you even decided to, 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 to give up. That is not the solution. Us giving up uh, to God is not a solution. But having hope that amidst the persecution, amidst the challenges we are facing, God has a plan. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes you, 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 you feel like worshiping God through these moments is not even um, worth. But God still preserves his people. If we make the right decision, uh, as far as what he has given us, then God is aware of the decision we've made and is going to give us the reward according to that decision. Mm-hmm. And that is why lesson writer puts his Christian providentially preserved. Mm-hmm. If you go through the, 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 you know, the persecution, all the challenges, God is still there. Don't think of giving up. Don't think of going away to sort your own solutions to the problem. Give it to Christ. Give it to God because he has all the solution of the challenges we are facing through. Friends, we are called to be faithful amidst the persecution we are facing through. I'll call upon Sister Naomi to share with us this. Sometimes we face challenges and we tend to to be unfaithful you know, in giving the response to the persecution we are facing. Sister Naomi, yes, how can we be faithful and yet we are facing the persecution? Thank you so much, mm-hmm. and Brother Tony. See, when I study about um, the Christians in the early century mm-hmm. and I see the way they, they were handling things, mm-hmm. you know, Christianity... Mm-hmm grew so much rapidly mm-hmm. even though persecutions were there yes. tortures were there mm-hmm. imprisonment were there mm-hmm. i happened to have watched mm-hmm. one clip about inquisitions mm-hmm. on how the early christians were being tortured mm-hmm. it was so bad mm-hmm. you could see them standing up mm-hmm. being burned to the stake just for the sake of the gospel. Mm -hmm. But they still hold dearly Mm -hmm. to that gospel Mm -hmm. which they knew. Mm -hmm. You see, when you read the book of Acts, Mm -hmm. it gives us a history Mm -hmm. of Christianity. Mm -hmm. And so when you transit and you go through it, it shows you the character of the early church. Mm -hmm. It shows you how these people were faithful, Mm -hmm. even to the point of dying for Christ. Mm -hmm. You see, when you tell us being faithful amidst persecution, mm. what is that mm-hmm. to our current life today? Mm. From the center of what we are talking about, mm-hmm. the cosmic conflict which Satan is trying to use. Mm-hmm. You see, Satan is so clever. Mm-hmm. 
he tries even to get into the gospel mm-hmm. so that um when you are when you have dared the gospel mm-hmm. into your heart such that you trust God to the fullest still challenges will be will be coming mm-hmm. still persecution will be there mm-hmm. and it reaches a point where by you feel like ah mm-hmm. i'm serving god yet i'm being i'm, I'm being persecuted mm-hmm. i'm serving god yet i'm being mocked mm-hmm. i'm serving god yet things are not moving mm-hmm. but the call to which god wants us to have mm-hmm. it is like the early church the way they were mm-hmm. that we will be faithful to our god mm-hmm. and you know God God is a good God. Yeah. You've talked about him preserving us. Mm-hmm. You've talked about him doing something for us. Mm-hmm. We cannot see it right mm-hmm. now. But there is something even amidst persecution. Mm-hmm. Whenever we become faithful to this God who has called us, yeah. surely he will do something. Yeah. You correct. see, yeah, mm-hmm. the way the lesson writer puts and says that mm-hmm. those Christians mm-hmm. they faced even the threats mm-hmm. to death. Mm-hmm. But they still said that ah uh, our god and i it is a call to us mm-hmm. to know that god really cares about our well-being mm-hmm. and he wants us to be faithful mm-hmm. to stand up for him mm-hmm. to show that indeed even though we are facing a controversy mm-hmm. ah let us be faithful to this god for Amen. there is something awaiting us thank you so much yeah that's great mm-hmm. it is really encouraging and a message of hope even to our viewer that we need to embrace an act of being faithful amidst our challenges. Mm-hmm. You know persecution is not a, just um, you being slaughtered mm. for the sake of Christ, you know. Being um, facing some financial constraints just for the sake of Christ, it is all round. Mm-hmm. Things that may hinder you or may make you doubt God's providence. Mm-hmm. And therefore, after having been faithful uh, to the persecution and survived through, we are being called to care, to show an aspect of caring to the community. Mm-hmm. How is this possible? And how are we supposed? And how is this uh, a virtue that us as Christians we are called to embrace amid this uh, the situation and facing the great controversy that we are in. You see, Brother Tony, yes. while we are talking about mm-hmm. is it love mm-hmm. or selfishness, yes. I like the way this, this lesson has, has been put yes. at the cover mm-hmm. there as you start huh, mm-hmm. with the lesson two. Yes. You see, um, there is an aspect of mm-hmm someone holding someone's hand yes and there is this person mm-hmm. who is being drawn and pointing mm-hmm. to, to, herself. to herself yes it shows that mm-hmm. when we have love mm-hmm. we extend sure but selfishness mm-hmm. only points mm-hmm. to us yes. still i'll focus on this early church mm-hmm. in the book of acts the way they were yes acts as you read mm-hmm. um they say that these people went to an extent on out of their confidence yes. just to make the gospel mm-hmm. to be reached to other people mm-hmm. let me bring an example of um christ mm-hmm. his ministry here on earth yes. you see christ administered to different needs of people mm-hmm. be it spirituality be it healing mm-hmm. be it sitting with them be it food be it whatever mm-hmm. christ really showed what meant caring for others mm-hmm. and caring for community yes. and when we read about this early church the way they were they were handling themselves mm-hmm. the writer of acts says that they went to an extent of selling mm-hmm. even their possessions mm-hmm. just for the sake of reaching someone mm-hmm. i mean for us to be successful in the controversy mm-hmm. that is in between us mm-hmm. good and evil mm-hmm. there is a need mm-hmm. for us to get in between mm-hmm. sharing to people and caring for them outside wow. there wow. and that brings an act of love mm-hmm. it brings away selfishness mm-hmm. and so you see when love wins mm-hmm. the great controversy indeed those people who trust in the lord mm-hmm. will win Wonderful. in that fight Wonderful. yeah that's the greatest that's insight is very deep uh-huh. dear friend we need to embrace love mm-hmm. because it is out of love that we can be able 
to see sense of us caring to the for, uh, for the community yeah. and caring for the community seems love uh, simply denotes that we need to attend to their needs mm. there are people in our surrounding who needs our care and our attention caring for the community does not just mean financial support or in simple terms material support to them mm -hmm. just visiting them you know sharing the word of god with them sharing uh, you know a talk with them will bring an aspect of them feeling like they are even enjoying this sense of caring mm -hmm. with them mm -hmm. friends if these things are part of us then it is out of love i'm convinced that us being faithful amidst persecution and us also showing some aspect of caring to the community, mm -hmm. the members within our surrounding, by attending to their needs, it is out of love. And being out this, um, doing everything out of love, friends, be sure that this is a legacy you're leaving behind. Mm -hmm. And it is not a legacy of selfishness because selfishness is, will not drive you, you know, as our sister uh, shared with us about the, 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 the cover page, how it is out of love that you stretch, you show a sense of care to those within our surrounding who needs our help, to those uh, who are, you know, the lesser, mm -hmm. you know, they are not privileged the way we are privileged in terms of, you know, the privileges as far as food and uh, tending to their basic needs. But if God has allowed us and has blessed us with those um, uh, resources, we need to share with them. We need to show an aspect of love to them. Mm -hmm. But if we are embracing um, or if we are taking selfishness to be our center issue, mm -hmm. then we'll be you know, wanting everything just to be for ourselves. And that is not what Christ wants us uh, wants from us. Mm -hmm. Christ wants us to embrace love and to put it as a virtue that is part of the central issue that we are cherishing so that we can tend to the needs of those who are around our community. And that is a legacy that you will be leaving behind. Sometimes I was trying to, to, to think about Christ. Christ not only attended to the need of those people who are Jews, mm. you know, he not only attended to the needs of those who are Christians, he attended to all. In fact, when you read the book of Matthew chapter 18 verse 11, it says, Christ came for all, for all, not only Christians, not only uh, people who are in church, but he came for all because his divine intention is everyone in the name of humanity mm -hmm. have a privilege to share in his love. Right. What do you have to say, madam? Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, Christ left a very mm -hmm. moving legacy of love. Mm -hmm. I try to compare it with anyone. I can't find mm -hmm. someone like Christ Someone who left heavenly treasures mm -hmm. just to come down and save us. Mm -hmm. Someone who left the throne where he could be sitting as the boss, mm -hmm. just coming to save the humanity. Mm -hmm. It was out of love. Mm -hmm. And so it shows us that love, when it is inside you, mm -hmm. it moves you. Mm -hmm. Love wins everything. Yeah, sure. I like the way this Christian theologian says mm -hmm. it is mainly the deeds of a love mm -hmm. so noble mm -hmm. that lead many to put a brand on us. Yes, yes. Because mm -hmm. with love, mm -hmm. we win souls. Mm -hmm. With love, we bring people mm -hmm. closer to Christ. Sure. Still, Brother Tony, mm -hmm. I'll focus on this early church. Mm -hmm. It grew wider mm -hmm. and wider mm -hmm. and wider because of love. Mm -hmm. And so, even though we are facing mm -hmm. a lot of persecutions, mm -hmm. Even though Satan is trying to fight with us, mm -hmm. when 
love is the one which thrives inside us mm -hmm. which moves us mm -hmm. we will win so thank yeah. you that's great mm -hmm. friends there is something that we need to learn from the history the early church did a good job in attending to the needs of these people mm -hmm. within their community they showed a sense of care they showed everything that Christ intended them to do. Despite the fact that there are things that they never did according to God. But one of the outstanding issue is they did out of love, going to an extent of even selling what they had, going beyond their ability to share with those people the reason they had taken love to be their center issue. They were embracing love as opposed to selfishness. Mm -hmm. And that is what Christ needs to, from us. Mm -hmm. Sister Naomi, what yes. do you have to say to our viewer? Thank you. In a minute or so. Yeah. Dear viewer, mm -hmm. we are in the great controversy. Mm -hmm. But remember, it was out of love mm -hmm. that sin was overthrown. Mm -hmm. And it will still be out of love mm -hmm. that Christ will come again mm -hmm. and take us. Therefore, mm -hmm. Let this stay with you, that the love of Christ should be the spring yes. of every action. Mm -hmm. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. Dear friend, this has been a wonderful experience. One thing you need not to forget is that we are in a great controversy. And the great controversy will just be won when we embrace love, when we take love to be the center issue and leave selfishness away because selfishness makes growth go down. In fact, we will not call that growth. It will be an interference of growth in the ministry, an interference of growth and expansion as far as the ministry that God wants us to cherish is concerned. Let us embrace love, friend. It is out of love that everything, as our sister have shared with us, that everything is going to be right. And be sure, if we embrace love, everything will be okay. May God bless you. See you in the next uh, discussion. Thank you. I want us to pray. Let's pray. Dear Lord in heaven, it has been a wonderful experience you sharing with us. You presented a question to us on what we should take as our center issue. Is it love or selfishness? Dear Lord, we've gone through the discussion the way you led us. We've realized that we need not even to condone selfishness in our life. And we need to put love Dear Lord, may you give us that insight. May you give us the courage. May you give us your Holy Spirit to guide us. And every time we embrace it. It is our prayer of thanksgiving that even as our viewer is listening to us, bless them in a very special way. Lead us now and forevermore till the next presentation for this. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. May God bless you.